Um, hello, so today we are going to do this problem, which is part of Fleet Code Weekly Contest 339 of this week's contest. Um, so the third problem is mice and cheese. So what this problem says is we have two mice um, and we have n different types of cheese. Um, and each type of cheese should be eaten by exactly one mouse only. Um, and then we, we have points for each um, cheese eaten. So, um, and for the first mouth, uh, the first mouse, if, sh if that mouse eats the cheese, we have points, um, we can take points from rewards one, which are the rewards for mouse one. Um, so if for cheese I, if first mouse eats it, we get reward one at index I points. If the second mouse eats it, we get reward two. Um, at index i and both arrays are given to us right and we have n cheeses and n is the same as the length of these reward arrays so they have the same length and those lengths represents the 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 num the n types of cheese we have um and so that's what we have and we have also a non-negative integer k what that integer means is the first mouse has to eat exactly k types of cheese so not less not more exactly that's really important here um and what we want to do is maximize the points we can achieve um considering that the first mouse here will eat exactly k types of cheese right so that's the idea now if we take a look at the first example here this is reward for mouse one this one for mouse two and mouse one has to eat exactly two cheeses right so let's say for example the first mouse eats the the second one the, the one at index two um so that would mean it will eat with reward um th three and then um four and then it's let's say um index three as well so three and four for mouse one and so that's exactly two uh for this k value and then for um, the mouse two, it's more optimal for it to eat the the bigger world values, so four and four. So overall, we have four plus four plus three plus four, and that's fifteen. And this is the maximum. You can see it here because um, we've eaten the cheeses with the highest values. Um, so that's the idea. Um, now the n can be really big, up to ten to the power of five, um, and k can be up to n as well. So that's those are the constraint. Um, now, how do we tackle this? Um, okay, so how do we tackle this? So the first thing the problem says is that um, k equal to two means basically that uh, mouse one has to eat k um, k cheeses. So this means mouse one has to eat exactly um, two cheeses. So what does that mean for mouse two? Well, mouse two just eats the remaining, which is four minus two, right? Now the question is, how do we determine which one for each? Now they can't eat the same cheese, right? And the indices here represent the cheese in numbers. So zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three. So we can't take this four and this one, for example, because then it would be mouse one eating cheese one and mouse two eating cheese one cheese one and that's not possible right so this has to be divided among them okay and so you see here that sort of the number of cheeses for this one is fixed and this one just what's left right and so how, how do we handle this now one thing we can say is why not just have prioritize first mouse two, right? If we prioritize mouse two to eat as much cheese as possible, and then let M1 get the exact K cheeses in an optimal way. What do I mean by that? So let's say, let's first just suppose that mouse two eats all cheeses. So that would be basically the number of points, points in that case would be just the sum of reward two right so in that case how can we we have to give mouse one two cheeses how can we give mouse one two cheeses to eat right while maximizing the overall number of points how do we do that 
Well, obviously, th since this is since this is the number of points for if if mouse two eats all of them. Let's say mouse one eats maybe cheese one. What does that mean here? Or it's cheese i at index i. Well, that means we need to add, right, the reward one for that cheese i, but we also need to remove, because they can't eat the same cheese at the same index, we need to remove the one at index i for for mouse two, because because otherwise we can't, eat, mouse one can't eat it, so we need to add the reward for mouse one and reduce the reward for mouse two that we already added in the sum. And so already you can see here, to maximize the the final results, right? So this would be for um, ki values, right? So to maximize that, we just need to find the biggest values of these, the biggest k values of these, and then those are the ones that we are going to add because you see here we add them to the sum. So we just need to find the k ones because mouse one needs to have k cheeses. Um, and so we just need to find um, the k ones. What does that mean, for example, in the case of k equal to 2? Well, we take sum is equal to of r2, and then we we choose two indices, right? Such that we the r1 of i minus r2 of i is as maximum as possible. And that makes sense, because if these are is as maximum as possible, then the number of points would be as maximum as possible. Right? If we choose a smaller value for this difference, the number of points would be smaller, and that would not be optimal. Right, So that's the, the idea here. Okay, so now the question becomes, this is easy to obtain. right? This is easy. Now the question becomes, how do we get the k largest values of these two? Well, we can just go through the array, put them in a heap, right, and then extract k times. Um, and that would be it, right? And so that would be pretty straightforward solution just put for all i right put r1 i minus r2 i in a heap right and then here extract k times so let's apply this into this example and see what it will look like um, copy this go here and let's apply it so the first thing is we need the sum of r2 so that's our initial number of points so it's just going to be the sum of r2, which is going to be 4 plus 4, which is 8, plus 1, 9, 10, right? And now we would have a heap of the difference, right? So our heap. So difference 1 and 4, right? So the difference is minus 3. Difference between 1 and 4 again, minus 3. Um, and then difference between... Um, yeah, difference between uh, 3 and 1, um, so that's 2, and then difference between 4 and 1, and that's 3, okay? And so now we want to just get the k maximum ones, so that we can add them here, right? That's the formula to, uh, to, to t instead of taking from, instead of mouse 2 eating um, a cheese, having mouse 1 eat it, is adding the difference here. And so we need k equal to two ones, and so what are the highest difference here? Three, and so we pop that and we add it to our sum, and then we pop two, we add it to our sum, and so that gives us 15, and that's the actual answer that we have also on the problem statement, right? And that's actually the answer if we pick these two for mouse one and these two for mouse two, right? Because it's eight plus seven, which is 15, okay? Um, and that's roughly the idea here of the solution. Um, the only thing is that one thing to mention here is that in Python, to be able to get the highest value from a heap, you will need to input the values with a minus one. And when you pop them off, you need to add the minus one again so that you can cancel the, the initial minus one, right? Um, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the idea here. Now let's implement it and make sure it passes our test cases. Um, okay, so let's implement the solution we just saw in the overview. So first we need the total points by assuming we take only only mouse 2 eats all the cheeses. And then we'll put the difference between reward 1 and reward 2 in a priority queue. So we'll go through the range of the number of values. And then what is the difference? It's between reward 1 and reward 2. Remember, this is what we are trying to optimize. 
Um, so we will add it to our heap. So we would have heap Q, heap push, pre add Q. Now this is a min heap by default, so to make it a max heap, we'll just put a make it negative here. And now we want to get k of these differences and add them to our initial set of points, and basically canceling out um, the reward from for mouse two and adding the reward for mouse one. So that would be points, and then we'll pop the highest value because we want to maximize. And so that would be heap pop from the pre add queue and we just put this minus to cancel out the minus that we added here and then we decrement k um, and then once we extract k elements we'll, we are done and we can just return the number of points so let's run this let's submit and looks good that passes our test cases um, yeah so that's pretty much it for this problem please like and subscribe and see you on the next one bye